Hey guys, um, I wanted to do a quick video on the um, EDC slash gun range um, trauma kit. Um, this is the kit that the students receive when they come through the basic um, emergency medical course. And again, this is not a first aid kit. First aid kits are typically something that you want to use for a little boo-boo or a cut and you want to throw a band-aid on it. This is a trauma kit. So uh, let's dive in and see what's uh, included in the kit. So each kit it comes in a sealed um, bag. So you can um, tear it open. You can see at the uh, very top right there that it's got a little slot on either end to uh, build a, you know, rip it out and, um, got, you know, self uh, zip locking bag so you can reseal it. All right. So the students have an option um, along with the kit to purchase a uh, med kit pouch. The one on the left is more of a medium sized pouch that you can actually fit more stuff in there. And then to the right is, as you're looking at it, is the uh, smaller pouch. And everything in that EDC kit actually fits in the pouch and you can put, you know, extra band-aids and stuff like that just for those little boo-boos that you may uh, get on the range, uh, slide bite, scope bite type of deal. So. Um, so let's get into the packs and figure out what's in there. So we got the kit open and let's take a look at the uh, contents of the kit. Uh, inside you have one uh, emergency survival blanket to keep that patient warm or yourself warm for that uh, matter. Uh, you got four um, you know large gloves uh, for uh, you know PPE purposes. Uh, one TK4 tourniquet. One Israeli emergency bandage, six inch, one halo chest seal, which uh, comes two seals per pack, and one field dressing, uh, four by seven, and flat duct tape, uh, 1.89 inches by two yards, uh, OD green. So, all right. And as you look at the kit, let me zoom out here. As you look at the kit, everything lays in nice and neat inside that pouch. So you have everything set up. So as you're looking at it, Okay, let me turn this. It's hard to do this as I'm holding the camera. You got your gloves right here. Okay. You got your TK4 tourniquet right here, and right behind that is the duct tape. Okay. And duct tape is very useful in, um, well, for anything really, um, but it's, ex you know, extremely useful for, um, for traumatic injuries because all these, you know, plastic bags, plastic packaging, don't throw these away because you may need it. You can actually use the pla uh, plastic packaging. Uh, to use as a chest seal for a second chest wound. So if you have either multiple wounds or multiple victims, um, you know, you got to be able to think outside the box. So, and then here is our um, blanket, emergency blanket. It's right in here. And again, like I said, you got plenty of room in here to put even more stuff in here. So things that you might want to add as a, you know, um, various sizes of um, adhesive bandages or what people would call band-aids. Um, also, once you get maybe a little bit more uh, training in medicine or, you know, medical trauma, um, a decompression needle, um, uh, an oral airway or a nasal air, uh, pharyngeal airway, an MPA. So, you know, but this is just for the basic person that, you know, um, wants to get started in, um, you know, Trump, you know, I'll, I'll say trauma medicine. I don't want to say tactical medicine because... Um, you know, for most of us in the civilian sector now, um, we're not going to be kicking down doors, things like that. Um, so, but let's see, let's move on here. And then right here you have your four by seven, um, gauze. Okay. And then right behind that, we have the Israeli bandage right here. And then right behind that is the halo chest seal, which folds up nice and neat, which is very nice right there okay so you have everything that you need to um, have to kind of seal the air away so you're not leaking air um, and as well as to stop the bleeding um, and I picked these particular items for a specific purpose because one I wanted the the student to be able to put on a trying to get by themselves um, but also make it cost-effective um, you know they can always go up to a cat trying to get or a um, soft tea, uh, trying to get something that's uh, a little bit more sturdy, but you know what? The TK4 works. 
um, and price-wise it's a lot cheaper um, and it's still effective so but uh, as the students get more and more into you know their own um, emergency medicine um, and you know kind of study emergency medicine and figure out what they need what they don't need um, they'll add to take away from their own kits so but the key thing is that they have a kit and where would you want to carry one of these kits well I would carry one definitely one in my car carry you could even carry it on you you know the smaller um, pack um, fits nicely you can fit nicely on a belt like this one here you know it's got the um, um, the clips on the back so you can uh, you know do it through the webbing or you can just put it on your belt I mean it's really not that difficult and if you're especially during the winter time where we live in the Midwest um, you know it's easily concealable so you're not looking like you're you know wearing anything huge on the back um, what else uh, in your desk in your office you know we hear about um, um, active shooter uh, scenarios at people's workspaces so and you know the biggest thing that um, causes death in those you know mass casualty um, shootings is blood loss so that's why I built these kits based on the TCCC protocols um, to stop the bleeding you know that's gonna be the biggest thing and for most of us we're gonna be able to get to some type of medical help uh, within 15 to 20 minutes okay and you know I think a lot of people are under the premonition that when you call 911 you know the first thing that they send is police they're not going to have EMTs going into an active shooter scenario until it's secure. So think about this way. What do you do? You've been shot. Your buddy's been shot. Your family member's been shot. What do you do until the police secure the area before EMTs get in? Well, you got a kit with you. You can start, you know, doing that emergency medical crap, you know. Um, you can be that stud or studette and, and start saving your life or the life of somebody else even before help arrives. You are that first responder. Um... You know, as I say to all the students, if we are willing to uh, train to take a life, we got to be willing to save a life. So until next time, guys, um, hope to see you in class. Um, you know, our class for uh, November, uh, and in fact, it's going to be on Veterans Day, um, is full. So I got a full class, and each one of um, my students is going to get this one of these kits, and then they have the option to purchase a uh, one of the pouches. Um, so it's a great class. Not only is the kit a great kit, but the knowledge that you gain, you know, because the skills that they're going to learn in that class, they can take that those skills anywhere. And, you know, a nice kit to go along with that to uh, help them be able to apply those skills. But, you know, um, challenge yourself, you know, continue training, uh, continue practicing your skill sets. Um, you know, you are that professional um, concealed carry permit holder or professional shooter, whatever your, um, you know, reasons are for shooting. Um, if you're going to the ranges for recreational purposes, things happen. So you definitely want to have a kit. And this kit isn't necessarily for you to do work on somebody else. It's in case if you get shot, somebody sees, oh, you know, this guy's got a med kit. They can dive into your med kit. All right. So anyways, until next time, uh, take care, be safe, stay conditioned yellow.